Hey guys, Kenny Caster here, bringing you a new deck, kind of a new deck. Uh, it's a little spin off of the red green aggro deck that Ross Merriam top aided the Star City Games Invitational with. Uh, what we did was we added some of the new cards into it, uh, put some blue in it, and let us interact with our opponent a little more. Um, just moving right along, we have our creatures first the Burning Trees, Flint Hoof, Arbor Elf, Borderland Ranger, and Thunder Mom. Um, I wanted the Borderland Rangers, more of them. Ross only had one of them, but I think that you need them if you have more colors in your deck. Also, sometimes the double red with the Thunder Maw could be a problem. So you definitely want to just make sure that you can cast all your spells, because if you can cast all your spells, then maybe you'll win. Um, also, a new addition to the deck, we have Zerta Druid. Um, it's just a 1-1 one -one for a 2 mana, red and a green, and adds a green mana to your mana pool. And whenever he does, he deals one damage to your opponent. So when I was playing with Gyro Sage, I felt like I wasn't attacking with it. It really wasn't dealing much damage, just using it for mana, even if I, like, if I did do that. So I wanted it to do a little bit more than just add mana. So this is a great addition to the deck. Um, he seems really good, so we'll see how it goes. Um, moving right along, we have our Bounce Pump Package, as I like to call it. And basically, it, it's just a combination of Gore Clan Rampager, Simic Charm, and Unsummon. Um, I wanted the pump spells. I really like the Gore Clan Rampagers, um, but the pump spells and I wanted the bounce spells. So we got kind of four and four with four the pump spells and then four bounce spells. The Simic Charm just doubles in the spot. Um, wasn't too sure if I wanted just four Simic Charm and maybe just one on one on the end of the Unsummon and the Gore Clan. But I think if we just chop it up into two, 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 we'll get a good feel for it and see which one's a little better, maybe which one's a little worse. Um, then it brings us down to our Lightning Bolt package, which is basically just, we got a couple of Searing Spears, and another new addition to the deck is Raul Zarek. He's our new blue-red Planeswalker, and basically, I, it goes hand in hand with the Unsummon. I wanted something to be able to untap my land and do something with untap land, instead of just, you know, maybe playing an Arbor Elf on your turn four, which isn't really ideal. But if they go to attack him, you can unsummon him if you untap the blue land that you play him with. So that might be pretty cool. It also is good with the new guy, the Zerta Druid. You can untap him, ping him again, get some value points in there. Um, and if you ultimate, I'm pretty sure you just can't lose if, you're, if you don't get too unlucky. Uh, we also have Bonfire in the deck. Bonfire is just a really good card, I think, against Reanimator. Uh, lets you even go to like the later game with them, where... As if, I mean, if you do Miracle of Bonfire for like six against them, it kills all their creatures instantly, and then you can just swing. A lot of times it was just seeming like it was going to like a stalemate kind of, where like they would have like Thrag Tusk, a token, a Restoration Angel, and you just have like some three threes, and you really need something to just push the deck through. So Bonfire is a great card to do that. Um, as far as the mana base goes, we do have one Keswick Wolfren as a colorless land. Just another mana sink. I don't really, I'm not really sure if you really need it, but I do kind of just want to try it out, get a feel for it in the deck. It might be the colorless isn't like good enough because you might need to just be able to cast your spells and that be good enough. But you know, if you do get flooded or if you do just have lots of mana guys, which sometimes you know it does, it really does turn on the mana guys late game as far as like the Arbor Elf and the Borderland Rangers. Um, the dual lands we just went four, four, and four. Uh, we've got some basics and just a few of the M12 and the one Innistrad Sulfur Falls. Moving right along to the sideboard, uh, we have quite the collection of cards here. We do have our removal package, as I like to say. Um, basically, Mizium Mortars, you could either substitute for Pillar of Flame if you think there's going to be a lot more of like Naya Blitz decks. Uh, Pillar of Flame is better just because it's just a one drop and that deck can get out of hand very quickly. Um, we also have the fourth Bonfire in the sideboard. Like I said, you know, it, it's a card you want against, like, Reanimator, where you can just go... It, it helps you really in the long game. Where, like, if you do Miracle It, then the, the game is just over. Um, is it Static Caster? I haven't played with the card in this deck yet. I haven't done a whole lot of sideboard games with this deck. But it, it is one of the cards where, you know, you do want it, and if you do have access to blue and red, then it is just a card that you want. Um, We've got our counter spells and dragons package, which is just basically against your control decks. Uh, any deck that can go 
into the late game. Maybe they have Sphinx's Revelation. Go ahead and counter those. Um, and then follow it up with a dragon. You're probably good to go. Uh, we got one ground seal just to see. Because you don't ever want to draw two. But it is good to have one if you do get it. And then just a couple Thrag Tusk. Um, they're probably, the Thunder Mons in the main deck aren't as good. And you probably want another five drop that's actually going to do something besides like try and race in an aggressive deck. Where racing an aggressive deck is probably not where you want to be. You need to be the control deck in that matchup, I think. Thank <laughs> you.